Miss Bateman, welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. You'll catch your death out here. Dearest Mother, I hope this letter will reach you. I have spent these past years in torment, trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories. What I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension, but I beg for your patience. I will endeavour to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst House that night. As far as I can recall, this whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. The letter brought me to the isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. No station master in sight. I hope the village isn't too far away. I can't recall our exact meeting place. Mr. Shoulder mentioned it in his letter. My mother always told me not to walk on railway tracks. Hello? Hello? If I take the sign, how would the trains know where to stop? I ought to read Mr. Shoulder's letter again. I can't recall the name of our meeting place. I can walk through there.
I must make my way to the Plough and Furrow Inn. Excuse me? Yes? I'm looking for the Plough and Furrow Inn. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady. Leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. You'll come to Bewley. Go straight ahead and you'll find the Market Square. The inn is to the side at Square. Thank you very much. Where are you travelling to today? That would be none of your business, young lady. Quite. Apologies. What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. I don't spend much time there these days. Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I am. But I don't live in the village. I wish you a pleasant journey. you to Bewley? I beg your pardon? What brings you to Bewley, miss? I'm here to visit a local landmark, Hobbs Barrow. Hobbs Barrow? Well, I can't say I've heard of it. For what reason? I wish to excavate it. Grave robber, are you? Not at all. I merely have an interest in antiquities. Not much to be found in Bewley, if you ask me. You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. I'll take my chances. Hmm. Can't say I didn't warn you. That was odd. The old woman told me to go straight ahead to get to the inn. I'll have time to explore tomorrow. Beating raw metal into a fine object is an admirable skill. This must belong to someone. I should leave it alone. take the sign, nor do I want to. The Plough and Furrow Inn. The inn where I am to meet Mr. Shoulder. The Plough and Furrow. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. young lady to run out alone in this sodden weather. I'm heading to the Plough and Furrow. Bloody good pub, that. It has the finest ales in the whole county. Oh, I'll take you there if you like. Uh, I believe we are standing directly in front of it. Oh, so we are. Listen. Yes. Give us a kiss now, won't you?
backwards. What a buffoon. I should speak to the innkeeper about a room. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? I am in need of a room for the night. Aye, we aren't short of those. One night, is it? I shall need at least two nights, maybe more. Aye, it is not a problem. Three shilling per night. That includes your dinner and tea. A fair price. I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye, I know the man. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank you. Bye for now. As you were. This is payment for the room. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? Thomasina Bateman. And will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. My assistant is arriving in Bewley tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Here's your key. Just go through the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Room number two. Thank you. Can I help you with your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. I should go upstairs and freshen up before Mr. Shoulder arrives. This shall do nicely. Time to change to something more comfortable. I feel tired after the trip, but my meeting with Mr. Shoulder must take priority. Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. There's only one match left, though. As the only light source in the room, I ought to leave this here. I don't want to take the painting with me. A painting of surprising quality. It portrays a rocky outcrop overlooking a vast moor, perhaps a local landmark. A decorative plate depicting a goat. A sturdy looking thing, useful to many a weary traveller. I've stored my case in there, a box within a box. empty bowl has been provided for washing. The wardrobe looks old, perhaps a hundred years or more in age. Good day, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Note for you here. I beg your pardon? I said there's note for you here, lass. Be on your way. Charming. Hello, sir. What? I'm waiting here for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Do you know him? I don't. Do you, love? Never heard of him. There you have it. Now clear off. Hello, sir. Aye. Uh, 
Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You're not local. You've come on that bloody train, haven't you? Bewley's going to dogs. My name is Thomasina Bateman, and you are... None of your business, lass. Where's your husband? None of your business, sir. Ha! You're brave coming in here, all on your own. I'm a grown woman. I'm Cyril. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cyril. I take it you are not enamoured with the railway station? Buell is going to be swarming with outsiders, like you. We don't want you coming here. It's as simple as that, lads. Why not? This is our town, our land. I assure you, I am not here to cause trouble. We'll see about that, won't we? Do you know Mr. Shoulder? That'd be none of your business, lass. I don't come to your city poking around asking questions, do I? Man just wants to enjoy his ale in peace. What can you tell me about Bewley? We're a proud community. I've lived here my whole life. Not much here to interest folks like you. Folks like me? Aye. Bye for now. Ta-da, lass. Miss Bateman, you've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. I guess you could call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kemp. A pleasure to meet you, Stanley. And tell me, I trust your room is adequate? Most adequate. Excellent. Has Mr. Shoulder arrived yet? Still haven't seen head nor tail of him, Miss Bateman. What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Aye, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. Have you now? You found yourself an admirer? <laughs> Not quite. What business do you have with old Leonard, then? Well, if you must know, I am what some people call a barrow digger. A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? Are you familiar with tumuli? Afraid not. Barrow is another word for tumulus, or tumuli in the plural. A profoundly interesting subject. You've lost me. I excavate ancient burial sites looking for relics. A barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh, I? You're a grave robber. I am no such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find, then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, rarely gold or silver, but treasures, certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common find. I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Oh, aye. Very interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in Bewley. A site called Hobbs Barrow. I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard nout about a Hobbs Barrow. Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? Not in my life, lass, but I'll tell you something. The moors stretch further than the eyes can see when you leave this village. There's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Mr. Shoulder said the Barrow is well known locally, a place of legend. I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. Why are you interested in digging around in the dirt, lass? Haven't you better things to do with your time? I enjoy nothing more than the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. I inherited this passion from my father. Oh, a Barrow digger too, were he? Indeed. 
He would take me with him on excavations as a child. Does he still come with you now, on your own adventures? I'm afraid my father's been bedbound by illness for many years. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, lass. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. I look forward to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. But St. Edmund's Church is a fine building, worth a visit. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Kemp. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger days. Saved up my coin and bought this place. It's a fine inn. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight here in Bewley. Thanks for your time. As you were. Mr. Shoulder should really be here by now. I'll sit down and wait. Where on earth is he? What a waste of time this is turning out to be. Evening there, miss. Not you again. I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I deserve that slap. I'm sorry for my behavior. The drink gets a hold of me sometimes. Let's start again, shall we? My name is Arthur Tillett. Thomasina Bateman. What brings you to Bewley, anyway? I'm here to meet someone, but he has not arrived. His loss, if you ask me. Perhaps you know the gentleman, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Oh, I know Mr. Shoulder all right. If I may be so bold as to say, he's a bit long in the tooth for you. The relationship is not what you're implying. I've never met him. In fact, I know very little about him at all. Get me an ale and I'll tell you all about the old sod. One ale, coming right up. Thank you very much, Miss Bateman. Then I'll tell you all about old Leonard Shoulder. The crackling fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. 